The LTS speaking exam is formal interview. So, wearing formals or smart semi-formal dress and speaking in a formal tone is best. Tips for IELTS speaking exam Focus on what's important when you prepare. You have to spend your time to increase your range of vocabulary and sentence structures, and practicing speaking as much as you can to increase your fluency. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous in the IELTS speaking exam. If you are nervous and unconfident it may affect your score. So speak freely and confidently to get the desired score. Extend your answers. Don't answer in one word such as yes, no. You have to speak as much as you can so that examiner assesses your language skill. Stay on topic. It's important to expand your answers as mentioned above, yet ensure you stay on the topic, don't discuss whatever comes into your head if it isn't responding to the question. Don't rely on the examiner. The examiner usually won't prompt you to say more if you don't say enough, so it's up to you to give a full answer to each question. Understand the questions. Before answering the question, first, understand the question. If you do not understand the question, then ask the examiner to repeat it. You won't lose any score for asking the question to repeat. Don't show off. You need to do your best to impress the examiner, but try to keep in your capabilities. If you attempt to utilize lots of grammar structures and vocabulary that you are not sure about, you may just cut down your score. Keep eye contact. Try to have eye-to-eye -eye connection with the examiner. This does not mean you have to look at him slash her constantly, however, it is ordinary when you have a discussion with somebody to spend a lot of time looking at them as it keeps their attention. Listen carefully. Listen to all the questions carefully so that you can answer them effectively. For example, if you asked for the future plans make sure that you answer using future tense. Follow these IELTS speaking tips and hopefully, you will do better in the exam. This video I will give some sample speaking mock test with bands 6.5, 7, and 8. Please practice carefully before go is to the exam. Is traveling abroad very popular in your country? Oh yes it is. It is quite popular. So people mostly go travel uh, during the summer. But it's always summer in India. So yeah, I think uh, movies have a huge role to play in it because they show all these destinations where there's snow covered mountains and all and that's very fascinating for us because we don't really get snow, <laughs> at least not where I come from. And where would you like to travel to in the future? Oh, uh, there are still a lot of places in India that I haven't seen, so I might go out there as well. And I like, I really like Bali. So Bali and Greece, yes. So I'm going to give you a topic, and I'd like to t you to talk about that topic for one to two minutes. You'll have one minute to prepare before we begin, and you can make some notes. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. 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 Uh, the type of clothing that I like to wear is mostly generally casual but I wear different types of clothes on different occasions like everyone else I suppose so uh, like regardless of the weather in India we have a lot of festivals so uh, usually I do like to wear casual clothes but like just a jeans and a t-shirt but like on occasions uh, on festive occasions I wear like traditional Indian clothes and I get them specifically made because they like you can't you you can't really buy uh, like traditional Indian clothes in the malls and all. But I for personally I I do get them made tailor made for me, and because then you can choose your own style your designs or a lot of like stuff like that. So yeah, um, when when you go to a temple I I wear like uh, pure simple clothes because that is the tradition. Um, so that. That makes me feel like really peaceful and calm because most of the time you wear like simple clothing when you go to a temple. So it makes me feel calm when I wear those clothes and during festivals when I wear like those traditional Indian clothes, it makes me happy because it's uh, like a festival I've been celebrating since I was a kid. So during Diwali and Holi and all. Uh, yes, in Holi I wear like everyone wears white clothes because they throw colors on you. So it, you get like you go out with a white cloth and then when you come back it's like all colorful so different clothes for different occasions i suppose here i have been wearing a lot of warm clothes 
and that makes me feel really, really warm. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I I buy clothes from from different uh, stores, I suppose, depending on what kind of clothes I want. And um, I, oh my god! So yeah, and oh, when uh, I go for an interview, I I mostly dress in formals, so that makes me feel very confident, <laughs> and and that I'm prepared. Good. Okay, so I'll take this off you, please. Excellent. All right, so we've been talking about clothing. And now I'd like to talk about designer clothes. So are designer clothes popular in your country these days? Oh, uh, yes, I, I think so, yeah. They are quite popular. It depends on, like, uh, the person, actually. Uh, like, people, uh, designer clothes are usually, usually very expensive. So only a people of certain social, uh, I mean, socioeconomic class can buy those clothes. So they are popular in certain segments of the society, yes. And why do you think people buy designer clothes? Oh, I think because it, it has a social status attached to it. So when you're buying, like when you're wearing a specific label, the people recognize it and then it shows like what kind of class you belong to and, and it is a huge thing in India, I think. So I think it, it, it's because of that. It shows like you are from a different class of society and it shows your your affluence, I think. You can flaunt your affluence that oh, way. I would love to Maybe that. Singapore, uh, for my holidays. All right. Do you prefer beach holidays or city holidays? Uh, I prefer city holidays. Uh, I uh, don't like beach that much because uh, all I don't like going into the open uh, too much. I like exploring uh, new things because whenever you're in a city, uh, you can see new buildings or uh, new uh, ancient stuff from uh, the country. Okay. Do you like long holidays or short holidays? Uh, and why? I I like long holidays uh, because uh, holidays are mainly uh, for you to take a break from all the work that you do on your daily basis. So it should be a long holiday uh, to free up your mind and enjoy uh, your time. Okay. Do many tourists visit your country? Uh, yes. Um, my country has many tourist spots. Uh, it has like Taj Mahal, uh, India Gate and many other tourist spots and uh, whenever uh, you go there you will mostly see that people from other countries are there uh, rather than uh, local people. Okay, let's talk about smile. When do you usually smile? Uh, I smile almost every day. Uh, I usually smile because uh, it's good uh, plus it uh, makes a good impression on the person that you're uh, standing next to. Okay. Do you think people smile a lot nowadays? Uh, yes, uh, people smile a lot uh, these days uh, because uh, these days uh, they do not uh, uh, have too much work to do. Uh, all the work is done online. They have free time. They can enjoy uh, on their social media with their friends or hang out with them. So uh, that gives them a pleasure and they smile. Okay. Are their smiles artificial or genuine mostly? Uh, mostly smiles are genuine uh, because uh, whenever you are with your friends or your family, your smile that you have is genuine. You don't smile fake with your family. Usually people uh, smile fake when uh, they are in any uh, meeting uh, where they don't want to be or they are forced to go somewhere uh, where they don't like going but they have to be there because of some reason. That is when people smile fake but usually uh, they, their smile is genuine. May I start? Yes. I have known many person uh, throughout my life. I met new person every day, uh, meet many people. Uh, there are some who became my best friends. Uh, but there is one person who I would like to talk about today. Uh, his name is Harjit Singh. Uh, he is one of my best friends. I met him uh, at the GNA University where we both uh, went for training. Uh, I didn't know him uh, earlier, I met him there, he was my classmate, uh, we used to sit together, uh, study uh, there and uh, he then uh, after a few months uh, he moved in with my PG, uh, we shared a room there. Uh,
I met him uh, back in uh, February. Uh, we uh, used to do training in automobile engineering. Uh, there we used to invent uh, new things on daily basis. Some ideas uh, used to fail and some we used to submit to our teachers. Uh, there was one uh, day he came up with a new uh, idea. Uh, he designed a car. Uh, which uh, today we uh, are known as uh, hyper cars uh, that are mainly a uh, technology that is mainly used in sports car and uh, he submitted that idea uh, to te uh, his teacher and uh, teacher approved his idea and now uh, he is currently uh, in USA working with Ford uh, a company. Uh, I appreciated his work uh, because uh, that was uh, so uh, he put so much hard work into it. Uh, he was there with me in my room and he used to work day and night on his project uh, and plus I am uh, I myself being an uh, automobile engineer I appreciate the new inventions that people make. Why did you appreciate it? Uh, I appreciated his work because I saw him work day and night for his project. Uh, some nights he didn't even sleep. Uh, he used to work all day and then we, when he got back home, he used to work all night. Uh, he sometimes forgot to have his lunch or dinner. Uh, plus, I myself being an automobile engineer, I appreciate all the new inventions that are made in my field. Can I have paper pencil back? Uh, yes. Okay, now I would like to ask you a few questions related to this topic. Fine? How can people innovate or make new discoveries? Uh, new discoveries or new innovations require uh, your full time. You need to be hard working. Uh, new innovations cannot uh, come, uh, 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 it's not a piece of cake for everybody. Uh, you have to uh, be more creative, uh, have new ideas every day. Some ideas might fail, uh, but you do not have to give up on that. You should keep working every day. Okay. How do they come up with new inventions? Uh, people come up with new inventions, uh, basically uh, first you they design something and then run it on a simulator. Uh, if that thing is working properly, uh, then they uh, send it for a further, uh, a further process uh, like uh, all the uh, calculation, analyzations, whether that product can be uh, used in the real world. Uh, that again requires uh, hard work, uh, your, all the time uh, and uh, if you cannot uh, devote your time, that in, uh, you cannot invent. Okay. At what age do people learn to form their own opinions and make decisions? Uh, that has not any certain age. For some people it might come when they uh, became teenage. Uh, for some that it might come when they are adults. Uh, this is not uh, any particular age. Uh, that depends on what uh, kind of environment people live in. Uh, if they are with more creative people around them, uh, they can start making new innovations or inventions uh, early their age. Uh, there are many examples. Uh, we can see some people, uh, some children who are only six or seven years old are making groundbreaking inventions. All right. Do you think the children's opinions are likely to be similar to their parents' opinion? Uh, yes, in most cases, uh, children's opinions are most likely to be uh, similar as their parents' opinion because children see their parents as their role models. Uh, they uh, work hard uh, to, for their parents only and if uh, uh, parents uh, are in some field, uh, children would love to be in the same field as their parents uh, because first it's easier uh, and second uh, you can have all the knowledge and experience uh, from your parents about that field. So uh, children uh, like to have similar opinion as their parents. Alright. Okay, this is the end of your speaking. Thank, Thank you. you.